There's just one big selling point and one massive question about the upcoming release of the Nike Dunk Low Syracuse and Kentucky University themed sneakers that are coming. Uh, they are already on the sneakers app here in Tokyo, Japan, but they say uh, Varsity Royal and Orange Crush or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and it doesn't say, it's Orange Blaze, that's what it says, Orange Blaze. It doesn't say Syracuse and Kentucky, but um, I have one massive question about this sneaker but I also have one massive point to make about what it is about these things that are gonna get people putting their hand in their pocket, taking out their money and going out in their droves to get their hands on these because these guys are gonna sell and they're gonna sell really well. So stay tuned for this video and find out what that massive question is and what that massive selling point is as we look at the Nike Dunk Low, Syracuse and Kentucky. This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. This is my Nichi Up Sooner Day, my Nichi Media Go Side. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, what we're looking at is the upcoming release of the Nike Dunk Low Syracuse and Kentucky, or as they're calling them, the Varsity Royale and the uh, Orange Blaze uh, on the sneakers app here. I'd love to know from you guys out there if they have those names on the sneaker app elsewhere in the world, or if, or if it's just a Tokyo thing something to do with this region that they're giving them those names potentially I suppose now that I think about it they could give them the names of the universities in the US because that's something that kind of uh, chimes with the, the, the buyer out there in the US the people who are going to go out and put their hands in their pockets and buy these things but then in the UK in Asia and other places like that they wouldn't actually have a big draw towards Syracuse or Kentucky, so maybe that's why they're deciding to name them Orange Blaze and Varsity Royale. Um, but that's uh, that's beside the point. What is the point is that these are two really fire sneakers and they are dunk lows. Straight up, honestly, I, I'm always straight with you guys out there, as straight as I possibly can be, uh, and I always try to make sure it's as authentic as, it pos as authentic as it possibly can be. Now that's twice in the first two minutes I've already sort of stumbled a little bit over the, my what I'm trying to say, but I never cut that stuff out because I really, 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 truly appreciate or truly believe in authenticity when it comes to YouTube. Uh, and one of the things about my channel is that there are four reasons why I have it, and those four reasons haven't changed from day one. And one of them is to learn about sneakers. And full disclosure, you know, up front, just letting you guys know, but one of the main things I've learned in the last year of having a sneaker channel is the individuality that comes with the, the Dunk Low line, or the Dunk line, I suppose. It's not just the Dunk Low line, because uh, I just thought it was SB Dunk Low, and that was it. And then a couple of weeks ago, uh, a couple of months ago, I say, I was reviewing a sneaker, and it was just Dunk Low, and I was like, where's the SB? Oh, okay, so there's Dunk Lows, and there's SB Dunk Lows. Uh, and then there's another sneaker, it was the SB Dunk Low Pro. And I was like, oh my God, there's pros as well. So, um, and full disclosure, that's part of why I have this channel, and why I wanted to grow a sneaker channel, was because it's about learning about sneakers and, and growing my own knowledge of sneakers. Uh, and part of that is you guys out there shooting me comments and telling me stuff about um, you know what you know about sneakers so that I can make this you know a, a valuable thing for me as well. So you get the content from me and I get a bit of learning from you guys and I appreciate that and I like you guys. I appreciate you guys doing that for me. So, uh, so in today's video, what we're gonna be looking at is that one big question that I have, but also that one big selling point that comes with these two guys. Uh, and they are absolutely clean. Now that absolutely clean point I actually have to hammer it dong have to hammer it home uh, because these are absolutely clean and the reason I'm hammering that home is home is for two particular things now to illustrate my point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up a link up here uh, that explains why I had never owned a pair of Jordan sneakers until uh, April last year. Uh, but that link, you don't have to click on it the moment it goes up there, it stays there for the whole video. And at the end of the video, I'll throw up another link and you can activate any of those links uh, that are here that you want to go and have a look at. Uh, so here's that link to that why I had never owned a pair of Jordan sneakers, uh, and that'll explain to you, you know, about my history with sneakers and why it took me until April of last year to own my first pair of Jordans, the bread fours, um, and um, so I, I uh, and I want to put that link up there first because now I'm going to talk about a couple of other sneakers to really reinforce that point about these sneakers being clean sneakers. Okay, now behind me, hopefully, what I'm doing is that thing where you can see the two sneakers one after the other, and very, very simply, what you're looking at is two 
two-tone sneakers. They're a white base with either blue or orange on them. I know that's very obvious, but I really want to get the point across that they're clean. And the reason that I'm doing that is because of these. Doing, there's one of those links, and that link will be there for the duration of the video. You can watch it at any time. And what you're looking at behind me here is the recent release of the Nike SB. Dunk Low, uh, Travis Scott's, which was a huge sneaker, a really hot sneaker uh, in the last month in this kind of winter, spring season. Um, and if you look at them, and hopefully again, they're behind me here and you can see how complicated a sneaker that is. Uh, I remember when I did that review, I think I talked about six different phases of the sneaker. So if we go back to one of our uh, sneakers today, dong, uh, you see how simple it is. There's not six phases on it at all. There's two. There's the white base and the blue or the orange uh, like overlay on top of that. And another sneaker that I wanted to kind of highlight that point about these guys being clean uh, is the, uh, the infrareds. Ding. And there's another link. These links will be there at the end of the video. You can go jump to another one of my videos, uh, you know, by clicking on those links at the end. They will be there for the duration. So the infrareds, which surely are behind me right now, um, are a little bit more complicated, a little bit more. Uh, there's more coloring going on in there. There's a change in the fabrics on there, especially if you look at the toe box with that mesh toe box. Uh, and then again, if we come back to one of the two, uh, the orange or the blues, um, the Kentuckys or the Syracuse, uh, you can see that it's very, very simple. It's simple in two ways or it's clean in two ways. One is that the coloring on there is a white base and that one color on top. And then the other is on the materials. Now I asked a question at the, I said actually, I made a statement at the top of this video that there's one reason, there's one major reason why people are gonna be digging into their pockets and buying these things. And it's to do with those materials. So if we stay with that point that the materials are clean, that the, the coloring is clean and that two-tone clean, but also the materials are clean. And by that, what I mean is that they're a constant throughout the sneaker. You don't have leather and mesh and suede, for example. If you go back to those Travis Scotts uh, and think about all the different materials on there, I'm not talking about the coloring. I'm talking about the actual materials that they use to make the sneaker. Uh, and then if we, we look at that, it's just a constant leather throughout. And that to me is the big selling point is that these are just a solid construct leather. It's a classic uh, dunk low silhouette, a classic dunk low color. They're not playing around with anything at all they're not not throwing in some corduroy uh, or, or tossing in you know like a, a patent leather swoosh or anything like that they're very consistent front to back in terms of what materials they use these quality leather materials uh, and that for me is the big selling point on these guys and the big sort of reason why the people are going to go out there and get their hands on them and uh, now if we have a quick look at some of the detailing on them that I think really will get people kind of going and getting them out of the day so one of the places I like to look at on uh, dunk lows is the heel so let's have a look at the heel on there um, I'm pretty sure my good friends over at uh Pint of Stuff, a channel out of the UK that I, um, I'm very close with. Uh, they are, they're into their SB dunk lows and their dunk lows and stuff like that. Uh, and, the, and the heel is one of the, the things that they talk about a lot because of the way that the lettering is on the back there. So uh, I'll just leave that sitting there and let, let you guys decide whether or not that's fire or not. Uh, but again, it's in that single white plus color, whatever orange or blue that you uh, see throughout the rest of the sneaker. Uh, another place to sort of come to look at is on the, uh, the tongues. And if you have a look at the tongue tag on there, Again, in that single uh, color on white background sort of thing going on. Um, the swooshes on the side, pretty solid. Uh, you know, it matches that whole kind of aesthetic that they're going for. And then the outsoles on both of these sneakers to match the rest of the colorway. So it very much is um, a clean, clean sneaker. I can't think of any other way to explain or describe uh, these sneakers. They're just clean, clean in terms of materials, cleans in terms of the color. Um, and they haven't overthought them in the same way that they overthought the uh, the Travis Scotts, for example, um, and they're, they're very, very, very simple. But I think that's what people are looking for. Uh, there's an awful lot of kind of uh, innovation out there in the sneaker world at the moment, but what people are actually looking for is a clean sneaker like this is just straight. Um, we have a saying in the UK, and I don't know if they have it elsewhere, but it does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, and what that means is like, uh, there's no hype or fake or um, propaganda or anything like that. It just does exactly what it says on the tin. So, uh, and these do exactly what they say on the tin. They're dunk lows. Just you, you hold them and you know what you're looking at. There's no secrets here. Um, so it is a very cool, very clean sneaker. Now at the top of this video, I was talking about a question that I had for these guys. And you know what? At my age, you tend to forget things. And I've gone and forgot what the question was. Dang it, I wish I could remember. It's like, um, was it the, the one big 
selling point and then there's a why question. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember what it was, but it wasn't why are people gonna go out and buy these things? Uh, because we already know why they're gonna go out and buy these things is because they're clean uh, and they're definitely one of the hot sneakers that are coming out this season and they are coming out real soon, which is on March the 14th. At the moment, in terms of resale, uh, right now they're holding around about three times resale, the retail price. Um, so whatever you pay at retail, you can uh, recoup double that. Well, double that in profit plus you know your, your original outlay. Uh, so I, it looks like these guys could be quite a hot sneaker. They've talked about the Syracuse being um, in sort of slightly limited supply, but I don't know if that's gonna hold true. I think maybe they dropped a few early, but they're actually gonna drop in a similar uh, ratio to the um, to the Kentuckys, but I'm not sure about that. So if you do know about that, definitely let me know about that in the comments down below. Uh, now, just one more thing before I sign off for the day. Uh, I wanna just mention very quickly that um, um, things are, are uh, it's hard work here in Tokyo, Japan with this whole coronavirus thing kicking around. Um, I don't do YouTube as a, as a profession, <laughs> That's obviously. I mean, I'm stating one of the most obvious comments in the world uh, that this isn't my primary source of income. Um, it's barely a source of income. Um, but uh, the, this is, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I have my own you know, full-time job and uh, it's been impacted quite seriously by the coronavirus. So uh, things are a challenge around here these days. Um, and, uh, but I don't want to bring that into the sneaker side of my channel. So what I've been doing is I've been going live every morning at 7.30 Japan time to talk about the coronavirus element of life here and then sticking with my 7 p.m. drops about the sneakers. So if you're interested in life in Japan and what's going on right now, all this I'm doing, I'll throw up the playlist um, to that, uh, those live shows. I've just been, uh, I've done it for, you know, like 10 days in a row now and I just made a playlist with all of those live shows in it um, and you can see what uh, life has been like here in Tokyo, Japan under the conditions of the coronavirus. So definitely check out that video. And then one last thing to do as I do at the end of all of my videos as I talk about the butter movement and one of the best playlists in the world, the rarest sneakers in the world in hand, samples in hand, prototypes in hand, player exclusives in hand. It's an incredible playlist of uh, the, some of the rarest sneakers in the world from Shoe Butters Collection. And I always throw that up as the last link. And then when that link comes up, if you click on it, you can see all the other links that have come out throughout this video and go check out one of those. So for now, here's that playlist and then I'll just sign off and say thank you guys for checking out my content. Uh, but as I do this every single day, that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.